In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create these alcohol ink paper textures. They're great for crafts, so stick around. That's coming up next. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Art with Jane Monteith. Today, I'm super excited to be sharing with you this really cool technique. Uh, so simple, really easy to do. Uh, you can create your own alcohol ink uh, textures. And honestly, these took me less than five minutes to do. These are a really, really pretty rose gold color. Uh, some of my favorite colors uh, right now. So I thought I'd share with you this technique that uh, you, can, you can do in, like I said, under five minutes. And I'm gonna be using some of these textures in an upcoming project and you can use these in pretty much anything like I guess scrapbooking or any kinds of any kind of craft so let's go ahead and uh, let's get started on how you can create this look with your alcohol inks there are two types of textures here uh, or two types of papers actually that you'll need uh, depending on which one that you'd like to create so I have just your standard UPO paper here and this is the uh, UPO translucent so in my other videos uh, I have been using a lot of uh, this brand, it's just the Legion UPO paper. I tend to buy this one a lot. Uh, and I also buy uh, just sheets of UPO paper that I cut up. Now, you can't buy the sheets online, you can actually buy rolls, uh, but you can just buy the pads. This is the other uh, UPO paper, this is the translucent. So you will be needing a piece of that to create this texture look right here. So I'm just going to move these over to the side a little bit and we'll get started with the colors that I'm using and um, bring over the papers here. My favorite colors that I'm using today are from, of course, uh, the Jacquard Panada color line. Um, love all of their colors and uh, you can buy any of these products that I'm featuring in the video today in the link in the description box and not just this video but all of the videos that I have created um, I now have a page that you can just go and look and, and purchase what you need so feel free to check that out uh, so these will be on there the from the exciter pack I'm using some bright yellow a little bit of Mintella black Senorita magenta passion purple uh, and then, of course, I'm going to be using some uh, extender uh, from Jacquard also. But if you use the Tim Holtz or Adirondack alcoholic line, then you can use uh, this blending solution. I use this as well. It works just, just the same. Uh, and in fact, I think this is probably a bit cheaper for the amount that you get. So whatever brand works for you, but I do like this particular line in inks. And then the secret weapon that you're going to be using for uh, the sort of like the gold uh, embossed section or part of the texture is um, you can use the rich gold metallic, but my secret ingredient for that is this uh, product right here, which is a gold paste. You can buy it in a number of different brands, but this is the one that I use. It's by Art C. Uh, my art C actually uh, so I use this in on a number of applications but it works really well on these uh, textured papers so you'll need that as well and so once you have all of your colors picked out then we'll go ahead and get started with the actual texture I'm going to be starting uh, off by making this texture on this paper. Uh, so what you will need is your UPO translucent, a sheet from that, which is from this pad right here by Legion, UPO translucent. And again, those pads come in different sizes. I believe this is just a uh, 11 by 14. And you will, will want to make an impression or dense within your page. Uh, so in order to get these lines, you simply just uh, fold over the paper and normally I would mark them out so I would get you know um, nice straight lines but for video purposes I'm just going to eyeball this so you literally uh, just press your page down so you create your first line and you can take a pair of scissors and just um, go over it better with a scissor a pair of scissors and then fold it over again and continue on. So I'm just going to continue folding over each other here and continuing with my scissors just to uh, create a better impression. And I'll be right back when I fold it over the entire page. 
Okay, so I finished rolling over itself the paper uh, this way, and now I'm gonna flip it around and do the exact same thing and start folding it uh, crossway. So I get those little square indentations. Okay, you can start off by adding a little bit of blending solution across the page. And I'm gonna start off with some pink. You really don't need too much here on uh, the paper, just enough to kind of get it going. And let's see, maybe use one of these. And I just like to start off by rubbing into the page the alcohol ink. I just like to get a little bit of a base onto the paper. And let me get my yellow. I'm almost finished my base here, just getting a little more roughed up, and then I will apply my gold. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of my gold paste, and I think I'm just gonna get a fresh piece of paper towel. And a little of this also goes a long way, just the same as alcohol inks. It's a uh, very, very potent, up, so to speak and you just literally rub it on and rub it into the grooves so you just keep working away at this you can just dot it over your page and then rub it in just in the areas that you want it to to go but it looks good when you get it into the little crevices or the impressions that you created <clears throat> uh, by folding over your paper so go ahead and shine this up This would be a great one um, for Christmas as well. The golds and the reds that you could create would be really, really pretty. <clears throat> I like uh, a lot of gold at Christmas time and the red, it's just so pretty. You can kind of see this coming along here. I don't know how well you can see this in the light. I don't have very good light today. It's a little cloudy, but hopefully you're getting the idea here of how this is looking. So I'm just going to continue to rub this on and spread it around and then I will show you the finished texture in a moment. I finished rubbing my gold uh, across my paper texture and here is the shimmery finished texture uh, along with the original one here and these are great. I'm actually going to make <clears throat> candle covers with these small little holders. They're going to wrap around for Christmas and I'm going to drop tea lights in those. So I might show you that project one day when it's complete. Um, but those are really cool with um, some other embellishments on there. So that is texture number one. So let's move on to the vintage worn leather look texture. Okay, on to uh, texture number two, which is this really cool vintage uh, leather look uh, rose gold color texture. And this just came to be by accident the other day. Uh, I was just messing around with some scraps and I was gonna throw away some extra Yupo paper. Instead of doing that, I, I ended up making all of these different kinds of uh, color textures. So this is it, this is all you need to do. Uh, get your scrap piece of Yupo or cut a piece up uh, from your pad and literally roll it up like you're gonna be throwing it away in the garbage. And the more crinkly it is, uh, the better. So continue to rub it around, scrunch it up like it's a piece of garbage. And then when you open it up, you have your base uh, to add your alcohol ink onto your texture. Okay, 
so let's go ahead and add some of our blending solution to our page. And I've already got a little bit of um, ink on my brush. And I'm literally, again, same as the first texture, just gonna kind of rub it around a little bit. And you don't need too much, again, as always, with ink and uh, alcohol solution. Pretty much as goes and does the job right away. It's, um, don't need very much of it, very, very little. So I know I get a lot of flack when people say, well, why are you using paper towel? Because it soaks up, but for some reason, I do like it. Um, I can take ink off where I need to remove it as well. So I don't know, it, it seems to work for me. So you just gotta find the materials and tools that work for you. And then you literally start blending this in. So depending on the look that you want and the colors, I love these rose purpley plum gold colors. They are, they are some of my favorites right now, I do have to admit. Okay, I might just go over a little bit more over here. Blend that in. Now you don't have to rub it in all of the way if you wanna leave some of the um, indentation at the bottom of the paper exposed, then you can definitely do that as well. I'm just kind of going for a worn look here. I think it's coming along. So you can see it's pretty simple, really easy to do. It doesn't take you more than a couple of minutes to achieve this look. So let's go ahead and add some of the paste. Great thing is you can definitely move this around, rub it in, and uh, again, you don't need too mu very much of the gold paste. So a little bit does go a long way, and one small jar lasts you a long time for lots of art projects. So it's really, really handy to have. It's great. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish just rubbing this around, and we'll take a look at the finished textures. And here is the finished texture. This one turned out really, really pretty. More deep kind of plums and golds and coppery reds. So you can really achieve many different colors depending on you know, the look that you're going for. If you just wanna use maybe just one color, like a pink and a slight shimmer of gold, uh, you can create lots of different uh, looks. And so I have a few different purples here. This one is obviously more purple and it has a little bit of black in there. Uh, a lighter purple with gold. So you can definitely play around with the colors and get some really, really uh, neat looking uh, textures. So give this a try, it takes all of five minutes, dries really quickly, and you can create some, some neat effects. And Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a like and a share if you found value. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for weekly art videos. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon.